So you want to use 3D printing to predict the future? Well, I might have found a way. Stick with me and let's jump into it. Welcome to this episode of Design Talk by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I'm going to share both a concept as well as some design tips in creating these. What are these, you may be asking? Well, we're going to use these maybe to help predict the future, maybe not. So over the past 30 years of traveling the globe, I've spent a lot of time in Asian countries, and I've really come to an appreciation of the culture and rituals. And one of them, I'll put the name up here because I am not going to try to pronounce it on camera, Camera, is on the child's first birthday what you do is you place these objects in front of the child and whatever the child picks is considered to be their potential vocation for their life so today what they do is they have stickers and cards and that kind of stuff and I thought hey why not use 3d printing to create some coins to do the same thing I thought this was very unique now I will have these out on Thingiverse so if you want to download load them you can and you can use them for yourself uh, a little bit of a PSA though um, again I, I do not consider these toys so I would not suggest providing them to the child unattended uh, you know again our intent is to lay them out on the floor allow her to pick and, and just have some fun take some videos you know and that way when she grows up we can harass her in the future about what she picked um, However, from the design aspect, I really had to put a lot of thinking into these to make these as child safe as at least I could think to make them. And I'd really love to hear from you guys and maybe if there's some professional designers out there that do look at things for you know design safety for children, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments. So I went through a number of iterations of these coins. The first set actually were, were um, uh, you know, you know, stood proud of the surface. But one of the, pr the problems with that that my wife quickly pointed out is the letters and components broke off and could be, you know, eaten by the child. And that's not a good thing. So what I did is I then turned to a relief. So these are all recessed into the plastic. So as the paint here has, you know, where the paint goes, these are these are still pretty firm. So very hard to break off so still possible if enough force were applied so again that's why I still uh, you know caution you these are not considered as toys the other piece is the size I made these three inches in diameter so they would not fit into her mouth and as whole to you know prevent a choking hazard so uh, the other piece is I played a lot with different uh, fonts and I chose the stencil font because basically what it does is keeps the letters all together and doesn't create um, a lot of really small pieces which could be broken off and ingested. So I think those are some of the design tips that I would really suggest. Look at your fonts. You know, are there pieces that can break off? Uh, you know, go recessed rather than standing proud of the surface. Because again, when you look at a lot of these pieces, if they stood proud, they could break off. But being recessed in, it's much harder to break a piece off. Now, the other piece is I've created, I think, 16 of the coins. I printed them all in the same color because I didn't want to bias um, the child on color. So we decided we'd make them all the same color. The other piece is I printed them from PLA, assuming PLA is probably one of the safer plastics. Now, again, with Chinese PLA, who knows what they put in them. I don't suggest nor you know, recommend that these be you know, eaten, chewed on, or whatever. So again, should only be used under supervision. Uh, with that, I decided to add a couple fun ones in of my own here. So again, you know, being here in the U.S., we got to have a little controversy, right? So I've added both a Republican and a Democratic coin. So the idea is we're going to put these coins, the green ones out for her to pick, and we're going to put the red and blue ones out for her to pick separately. I don't know. Maybe we'll put them together. But, uh, you know, it's just, I, you know, I think this is be a lot of fun, you know, supervise the child with them. I'll put these out on Thingiverse. Uh, and again, if you have any feedback on safety with regards to these or what you would do differently in design, I'd love to hear from you. Now, I designed these up in OpenSCAD. I will also put the, um, I, I don't know if the files for OpenSCAD will make it out to the OpenSCAD site at the same time these make it out to Thingiverse because I will do a bit of a video on the OpenSCAD channel about how I created these because I think that 
that is kind of unique in itself. So I put a lot of work in these. So hopefully you found it interesting. If you did, hey, give it a big thumbs up. Uh, have you guys tried something like this with your one-year-old? How successful was it? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Swag shops up there, subscribes over there. And we'll talk to you in the next video where we design something else cool. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.